wiggle on at me. <laughs> oh. Right, so here we are, Donington Park. Garages are just clean out of race testing. I'm already in my garage. Uh, I've unloaded my stuff, we're ready to go. Rain is not too bad at the moment. It's having its moments so where it's like worse than others, but in the other side of the garage, we've got Dan. Remember Dan from Castle Coombe? Say hello, Dan. Hi, you two. Dan, <laughs> do, do the proper intro. Oh yeah. Hello, you too, man. Hello, you too. So last video, you was fixing he was fixing your drive shaft, but he was disappointed I didn't get no track footage, would I, Dan? No. Now, I did have one little footage of him on track. I'm going to put that in by now, right, Dan? Yeah. That little bit where you go off track, I'll add that in by now. That's another Dan. They both drive in. Do you want to be on YouTube this time now, Dan? No. All right, okay. <laughs> Well, you're not on YouTube, Dan, right? Yeah. <laughs> so it's Dan and Dan. Dan's had a tough time lately because he hasn't worked through none of this coronavirus because he's an hairdresser. But <laughs> I guess you sussed that out from the car anyway. Hey, put your crack away. This is family friendly channel, man. <laughs> so, yeah. He's a bit awful bringing his uh, triple eight. I was the same because it's wet. I've got two of my AR1s, purely in case I have a puncture. And I need some spares. And other than that, I mean, if we do get a bit of a dry line or something happens miraculous by the end of the night, I'll try them on the front. But yeah, that's pretty much it for now. We're all signed on because we've done it online. That's the one good thing with this uh, this virus at the moment. Now, online briefing. 
Uh, it was different to Castlecom. Castlecom was briefing was Ada on the first one. But this time it was online. We had to click the link and email, listen to it, agree to it, put in all your name details, and everything's done. So we've just turned up, gone in the garage, and we can just go on track. So, yes, I'm ready to go. As soon as I start, we'll be going on. I'm doing something wrong. That's the kind of cars we got here today. Test day before us. I don't think they're on track now. If they are. I wouldn't want to show them up or anything, so I'll probably take it easy. But I'm just going off for sighting laps now, so I'm going to have to put this camera down and set it up in the back. I'm not going to film any of the sighting laps because they just rubbish. We're going to be driving slow. Mind you, in, the, in this weather, we'll be driving slow anyway. But it's been years since I've had a wet tractor, like I said. So hopefully, have a little bit of slidey, slidey fun. Just enough fun and not too much fun where it goes prepare chip, but we will see. Right, so that's the uh, sighting laps over. Well, I say sighting laps. I only did one lap. Um, I'm not sure why the tow truck went out. I don't know if it was a spin or a recovery. Nothing came back on the truck, but so I did one lap. Um, so now we're just going to go for it, see what we can do. Obviously, even in that one lap, it's pretty slippery. So you have to take it easy, but hopefully, we do have fun. first session done that was loads of fun what I've done now with the train get a little bit more stability is uh, drop the shocks right down to five clicks from soft fronts to 10 originally they were on 22 front and 20 no 16 rear 22 front that's what they were on tire pressures I've dropped them down now to around what 26 psi all around I don't really know what to do in the rain to be honest with tire pressure so I'm just going to try and see how that uh, feels but we survived that one so what I'm going to do now is uh, have a break there's a red flag on and um, we get straight back out and do another one so here we go So we're back from that session. Um, we had uh, a little bit of grass pickup. Now that's the only time in that session I actually tried to do a drift. Well, I say opening time. You trying to ruin my 
nice film. He's nice, isn't he? Yeah. So yeah, that was the only time I tried to do a slide and it went wrong. I ended up in the grass, but we got away with it. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that because I just noticed the camera was in some high-speed time-lapse thing. You're slow. What? You're slow. You're too slow. <laughs> I am slow. But that is that. We have had some awesome fun. Picked up some grass. I think the car's cool enough now. I'm going to uh, put the camera back in, go back out and get some more laps in. Right then, we are coming to the end now. I just done 30 minutes non-stop. I haven't had any luck at the track session. I've been too busy going out. 30 minutes on track was the gap in the wall. I've never been at that long. Now that mini was quick. I don't know what tires he was on, but I could not cope with his grip. Been some nice cars here tonight. We haven't really had any good battles. They've either been cars that are just way too fast for me, or cars were slower. I haven't come up against much, it's been even, so... The battles haven't been great, but the fun's been high. ST170, take me back to my old days. So this is a look around the pit. Dan's packing up now, I think it's about 10 past 8. We've still got a bit of time left. Um, but I might pack up now, because like I said, it's 30 minutes straight, so... That's a long time, it's the long, longest I've ever been. But the car's performed amazing. I mean, nothing's been stressed at all in the wet. So, tyres, tyres look fine. Mine are a bit, quite sticky actually. Yeah, I've got a bit of heat in them. Um, but the car's performed faultlessly. It's not exactly the best wet car to drive in the world, but I probably had close to if not the best track day i've ever had it's been absolutely brilliant really good i've enjoyed every minute of it and sliding has just been fantastic the only time that i really lost it was when i tried to push for one last drift before i come in i'm hoping i can salvage that footage when i had a look at it what's happened is i must have set to some kind of high speed or something nice integra i do like them i must have put some high speed on or something so What's happened is the lap's really fast as well that I can slow it down and edit in. So if I am able to slow it down and edit in, you can see me going off in the grass, you probably would have seen it by now. But I think that pretty much wraps up the day. Dan's on. He's ready to go home. I think I'm going to pack up and get ready to go home. Put some air in the tyres and we'll be, we'll be off. They're nice too. Now I much prefer them in the white to that blue. Really like them. So, that is it. Goodbye, yeah. Don. It done. Goodbye to you, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Actually, we've got some things coming up. The front end suspension on this is gonna change quite a bit. Uh, I'll inform you in the future. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I had a problem with the ball joints. Fill in more on that in the future video. We've also got some new pads we're gonna test. You're gonna find out about it soon. So thanks for watching. If you've watched all the way to this point, just uh, tell me in the comments, uh, stuck to the end, Steve. Right, thank you very much for watching. See you on the next one, bye.